don't let me come into Tuscaloosa and beat you at GOAT, coach. Well, no, I never hear the end of it. <laughs> I'm Maria Taylor, and we're gonna be rolling around the country in this brand new Mercedes-Benz A-Class, crossing a few things off of my college football bucket list. Hey, coach, it's Maria Taylor. How's it going? Good, Maria, how are you? Getting ready to play some pickup basketball. You ready to go? Hey, Maria, how hey, are you coach, going today? Hey, coach, how's it going? Good, good. Ready to go for a ride? Ready to go, ready to roll. <laughs> are you nervous? No, not at all. <laughs> I'm used to you interviewing me. <laughs> All right, I think you guys all know who the guy sitting next to me is, Coach Saban. Um, and he's one of the greatest football coaches of all time. But I want to take him to the basketball court because it's on my bucket list to play GOAT with the GOAT. Is that cool with you, Coach? That's great. OK. How does your jumper look? Is it pretty consistent? You know what I mean? Does it fluctuate? There's not as much jump in it as mm -hmm. there used to be. I gotcha. All right. Hey, Mercedes. How can I help you? Where's the nearest basketball court? Starting route guidance. Have you always played? I played baseball in baseball season, football in football season, basketball in basketball season. I love basketball probably more than any other sport because I enjoy playing. But I think it was easier to play because you didn't have to have 22 guys like you do in football. You didn't have to have uh, a pitcher and a catcher and all that to play baseball. So you could play the game without an organized team. So when did you start your pickup basketball game with your staff? Ever since I can remember, the fact that I get to pick the guys on my team usually makes the circumstance on my team really good. Really a lot better than the a other lot better. team. That's right. All right, we made it to the court. It's okay. time to knock this off the bucket list. Time to play goat with the goat. You ready? Yeah, well, you know, you've been downplaying your game no. this whole conversation. <laughs> I <so> have. <laughs> now I'm thinking I'm going to go get a reality check here. It's a game that I play. <laughs> so what's the game here? The game is GOAT. I want to play GOAT because you're the GOAT. I think we should do rock, paper, scissors for who right. gets to shoot first. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Oh, of course you won. <laughs> we, we got the move inside. OK. And I guess I have to shoot. Oh, oh yes. <laughs> So who were you so, pretending to be when you were out in the backyard playing basketball? I always loved Jerry West. Yeah? Because growing up in West Virginia mm -hmm. as a young kid, I used to, I remember going to see him play, and I would sit in the end zone because I was so little I mm -hmm. couldn't see with my feet hanging and looking between the bars. Uh -huh. yeah, so we're tied now, So we're right? tied. Double Gs. This was your strategy it, to get me to talk. It was. I, so Bring him to a basketball to court, off distract game. him, and then ask a question. And I was hot. Go ahead. No, yeah, go and ahead. And ahead. Yeah. All right, ahead. and now what happened? No, let's see. Let's see. <laughs> Every I, time I miss, I'm I read short. my scouting report. All right, coach, so how much did playing basketball growing up kind of inform being a great coach? I always seemed to be the guy, whether it was the point guard in basketball or the quarterback in football, that they expected me to know what everybody was supposed to do. <laughs> I think that's what really helped me in coaching because it made me look at the game with a different perspective. I was always looking at the big picture rather than just what do I do. OK, we both G.O. What, what's the score? G.O., G.O. No trash talking. <laughs> Don't let me come into Tuscaloosa and beat you at GOAT, coach. Well, no, I never hear the end of it. I <laughs> what are you going to do when you're done coaching? I've been a part of a team since I was nine years old. Mm -hmm. That's when I started playing Little League Baseball. I'm going to do something that you can make a contribution to a team in some kind of way. Okay. It may not be in sports. Yep. You know, it may be in a business. It may be in something. So we're tied now. Oh, GOA, GOA. Ooh, a crier. Oh, she loves pressure. <laughs> That was me trying to trash talk. Dang. He got me. You got to win with class. <laughs> Coach, I appreciate you letting me scratch something off my bucket list. I played goat with the goat, although you did beat me. I feel like you could have let me win. No? Well, the competition was fun. <laughs> I enjoyed it. And I just want you to enjoy your Mercedes Benz. OK, I'll give you a ride back. Come on. Right, thank you. <laughs> Brought to you, of course, by the Mercedes-Benz A-Class.